Welcome to a weird little web game called, um, I can't remember, it's called, well, that. Something to do with that. That, somewhere in that URL and that is a, is a name. <laughs> I, yeah, it doesn't really have a name. It's very odd. There's no audio, which is a bit of a shame, so I'll just add some lovely music over the top for you. Like that. Ah, much better. So this... Uh, it's not really a game as such, it's more of a demonstration of... It's a, it's a physics demonstration, it's like a, just a showing you how physics should work. And this is a particularly good physics uh, simulator actually, because it works very much like a simulator. Like, like this is how real world physics is incredibly good. Um, so I don't know how much video value I'll get out of this, but I'll try my best. So this is just the uh, the basic uh, set you can see down here in the bottom right, and it just brings out a load of spheres just to fall down, and then when they fall off the side, they come back down from the top again. You can see them spawning in there as they fall off. Uh, you can do it with loads of different things. You can do it with boxes like that, cylinders like that, and just a, a random mix of them like that. If they go grey, that means they're They've not been moving for a certain period, but that they can be moved again if they're moved by an external force. That is the spheres, we'll stick with that. And then this here is a quantity editor. So I can now add 600, so it'll make 1000 spheres just drop. And bear in mind, yeah, that, that went below 30. I'm gonna try and keep this above 30 frames a second if I can and my computer starts to lag at anything over a thousand of a certain thing uh, it goes below 30 frames a second. I'm going to try and keep it above 30 because that's what this video is going to be at for you but I'm not going to promise anything so I might have to run this through handbrake as well unfortunately. This one here that has currently a minus 10 on it is a gravity simulator so I can set that to minus 0.5 that's an 8 0.50 and grab everything go falls really slowly because you know there's less gravity that's how it works have you worked that out Ooh, down we go down there Ooh, very pretty I think what the lowest we can get to is so if you, you can just have zero and then everything's literally just stable Ooh, look, can we have it floating upwards uh, so 100 Whoop. <laughs> So yeah, you sort of, I don't really understand how that is generated, but okay. So I just, woo! <laughs> nice, nice, I like it. Okay, so let us have a gravity of minus 1,000. Let's see what that does. It's an endless cascade of balls! Oh, I love them balls. Get those balls in my mouth. <laughs> So yeah, that, that really has lagged the frame rate because it's trying to do so much at once. So let's just set that back to what it was, minus 50. There you go. I think that's what you're doing. <laughs> ah, I don't know what to do, help me. So that's the basic one. We also have a compound one, hey, which spawns a chair and a ball to run through the chairs. And shut the fuck up, Discord, I thought I'd muted you. <laughs> Discord now gone, and this is sort of stabilized so that is them that's demo two of that demo one spawns the chairs in a rather amusing massive pile of them about that height on there like that like, there's no sort of stupid hitboxes these chairs have proper chair shaped hitboxes very precise hitboxes you can see how they're all sort of meshing together very correctly, um, to put it like that. And ooh, are they going to balance? Oh no! There's two, three. Oh, hey! Oh, ah oh, no! Come on, balance the chairs. This is really all it is. It's just a fun physics simulation. There's nothing particularly. You're not. You're not going to get a giant monster coming over the hill at all. That would be actually very fun. Just add a giant monster just crashing through some chairs like that. 
Oh, please add that if, if anyone who makes a good physics simulation like this is... Oh, do that! So, let us alter the quantity again. Let's have a thousand chairs. Although we're already lagging, so this, this video is definitely going through handbrake and at a minus... 100 gravity, so 10 times what it normally is. <laughs> oh, they're interfering with themselves now before they even... So yeah, there's the spawn point for things that fall off, but the things that are, are 7 frames a second. <laughs> oh, I can't handle it. Oh, 5 frames a second. 6. You can do it. You can cope. Oh, I really can't. Oh. I'll just switch back to demo two. <laughs> I'm still trying to spawn a thousand chairs. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, well, like one frame a sec two. Oh, feel the lag. Feel it. Oh, so many chairs. There we go. Something a bit more stable this time. Uh, yeah, this is basically the same as the chair thing, but using these weird sort of pills. I don't even know what they're supposed to be. Also, it slightly annoys me that there's only one ball and you can't spawn another one. It's not like a game game, but it's quite fun. I think what I'm going to do is find another couple of fun things like this, and I will make all of them into one video. So I will do that. Well, I'm going out this evening because it's my anniversary, so I will do that tomorrow! tomorrow morning or yesterday as you're watching it so some fun physics simulations and we can do the same as we can with the chairs there they're all falling down like that as, as with the basic on the same sort of thing and let's let's crank it up to 5,000 and have it on minus 100 gravity let's see what it can handle it crashed oh oh it's actually trying to do it oh god oh Oh, it's trying to do it. Oh, please don't. No. No, you can't handle it. Do, do it. do something else. I'm going to go back into full screen in a second. Don't worry. You can see my tabs and everything. I know. Oh, there we go. <laughs> wow. I did not think that would make it. Yeah, that, that's a rag doll. I don't really know what that means. Collision on. Collision off. <laughs> Collision on. Yeah. 100 rag dolls. They're all trying to fall. <laughs> oh god! Oh, ow! That's that's gonna hurt your spleen. Oh, oh dear! Oh, there's one more. Hello, I'm here too. Let's have one plus one and see what happens. It's the rapture! <laughs> We're off to be with God! 0. 0.0001. No. 4. 1. 0. 0. 0. 0.0001. Let's just. Look at them float there. Oh, they're actually just completely. Aw. Oh, that's too low for it to handle, I think. 0. 0.01. Ooh, we are really uniformed ghosts! Except for that one. <laughs> really? There's always one, isn't there? Fucking Jeff and his stupid... I don't even know what... That, that's like a... The, a frog egg. Since when do humans have frog egg heads? That's demo one. What's demo two on? Oh no. <laughs> I can already tell where this is going. Let's just have 10 people and we'll have a gravity of minus 10. Collision on, submit. Ow! Oh, Ooh, that, that's going to hurt a few spines. Minus 1. And, oh, collision off. Do they just go straight through each other then? No. I don't know what difference that makes. Oh! I don't know. What difference does that make, having collision on or off? I'm very confused. Are they sort of... Are they try and land straight when collision is on, I think? 
How odd. Anyway, let's go on to the next one. Speaking of collisions... That's literally all that one is. Um, yes, I don't know why the balls go through that and the cubes don't. Um, you could, let's have 4,000 of them. Realise that was a mistake as soon as I pressed enter. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, there's so many. Oh, oh, wow. It's actually holding. Oh, Jesus. Oh, wow. <laughs> so many. That's holding it at eight frames a second currently. Come on. Oh, oh God. Oh, that was a terrible mistake. Let's let's move on. Moving on. Speaking of moving. Ah, this one. This one's quite fun because you can sort of play it. Batting game. So you're sort of hitting them. So let's try and move everything off. Well, I don't even understand. This is so weird. I mean, I get that this is just a physics simulation, but... I feel there could be a little bit more here than there is. We also have terrain, which is basically the same as moving, but it is on some terrain that is actually, if I look at that, randomly generated each time. Ooh, it's randomly generated terrain and levels, because we don't have enough of those kinds of games in the world. Uh, now the one I don't understand. Vehicle. Um, I don't know what this does. Uh, I can move that up to a thousand. Doesn't do anything. Um, I can move that to my. I can just move that to zero, and nothing happens. There's no sort of. There's no controls to move it. No, I don't know. I really don't get that one. And then there's this final one. The walker, and it's just some people kicking, walking and kicking things. But you can change quite a lot about the walking one, which are quite nice. So you can make them run like that and just sort of obliterate everything that they step on. You can also adjust the speed of the walk. So they're now doing a very fast walk. <laughs> about a run, that's a really quick run. So, and then that also changes. <laughs> what? What's, what makes you do that? I don't... <laughs> why, why are you going backwards? Change the speed, you can change the thigh range and base, that all changes while you're walking. Uh, the calf range, I don't really know what that does, it's... <laughs> Goodbye! And you can also change the gravity. So if I change it to 1G, what happens? They're just stationary now. No, but they are sort of... They're taking a long time to get there. I can change it to zero Gs and they will slowly walk away into the air. <laughs> this is ridiculous. It, it really is. And they're now just sort of going back on themselves as well. And then I can just do that. And then... Poof. <laughs> Boing. Okay, so that's that physics simulation. It's a bit odd. And on to the next one. So, game number two. And uh, this time we have... I, I don't even know what's it called. Wobble Yoga. What? How, uh, someone's not looking at the screen properly. It is now the next day because I had to take a break of a day. And, uh, yeah, we're going to play this one this time. And it's basically quop, but trying to actually make a position as opposed to running places. So you should just be able to see the keys controls on here. You raise your torso with space. Also, just what? Um, you straighten your knee with M and C. I forget, no. N. They do the feet. Anyway. Right, raise it up, and then J and I do one arm, and E and F do the other, and you have to match the position. So, yeah, the basic object of the game is just to match the position that you see on the screen. So, this one, nice and easy. Like, uh, what is it? I. There we go. Like that. 
Um, you have to do it for a seems about three seconds, I think. So this one. Uh, oh fucking hell! Okay, so I have to get him over one way. The best way to do that is probably. Uh... Ah! Aha! Okay, I did it. Right. So that. But the left foot's not quite in the right place. Uh, whoa! This foot needs to be raised up like that. Ah! There we go. Oh! Ow! Oh! Oh! Oh no! Well, that leg is in basically the right place. So I just need to. Uh, so I go like C, and then raise that an arm, possibly. Oh, oh, that was close enough, apparently. Okay, so stand up. That what that actually worked, and then I and J Let's do that one again. Secret child pose. What the fuck? If I move. <laughs> Come on, over you go. There we go, there we go, getting that. A bit further, right, okay, and there we go. Did it. Oh, that one again. Fuck's sake, stand up again. And then, whoa, hey! <laughs> oh, I don't know, whoa, no, no, don't stand up again. Oh, right, so, ah, uh, no, I had it. Oh, bollocks. Uh, B. Just raise the leg like that. And that's 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 too much. This isn't going well. Um get that leg back in the right place. Or don't do that, that also works. With it along with C Oh no! <laughs> I had it. Fuck you! Right, okay. 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 No. What do I need to change? Shit. Oh, I just need to straighten that. Straighten up like that. Ah, ah. Hey! Oh, there's only five. Oh, rubbish. I thought there was more than five. Fortunately, I had downloaded a third game for just such an eventuality. And so we have game number three, which is called Sandbox Play. Not the most imaginative title in the world, and also not the most imaginative uh, menus in the world. However, a game that has physics quality as a slider, and experimental physics as a tick box, is always a good idea in my book. Okay, so I am in a volcano, and... Wow. <laughs> That's so sensitive, I am barely moving that at all. I will film how little I'm moving my mouse on my phone and I will show you how much that comes in real life. So that, that, that was indeed the picture. Right, so we're now recording and that's gen that's, I'm not making that up, that's how much I'm moving the mouse. Like, I have my mouse moderately sensitive anyway, but that that's a lot of uh, movement for very little travel. He is wondering if I remember to do that. I... I'm pressing the pad on my mouse mat, and it's moving fucking hell right. There was an option. There was. There's an option, but I can't do it from here. The main menu again. Really? Oh, dear. General mouse sensitivity. It's already way down. Jeez. Oh, that's better. <laughs> Back in the uh, in the volcano now, and we are good. I do appear to be floating. Yep. Okay, that's good to know. And basically, this is just a uh, little place down physicsy things and physicsy things will happen type game. Uh, there are supposed to be explosions as well, but I don't know how they come about. I don't know how you change between the things at the bottom either because there's no...
Ah, it's the scroll wheel. Of course it's the scroll wheel. Silly me. Right. So we have got some brick. Brick. Ah! Ah, okay. That's really convoluted and weird, but okay. So, yeah, if you just tap right click for some reason, not left click, right click, and it will do. Uh, yeah, it'll place a single, and then if you hold and drag, it'll do a square from each of the endpoints, and looks like it fills it in appropriately, apart from that weird gap. Okay, so we've got brick. Now left click delete, okay. Some stone, wood, uh, I, I don't know. Some clear stuff, okay. Uh, some sand and some raw-ish wood, okay. Don't see a lot of physics simulating going on here, to be perfectly honest. Okay, so I've worked out how everything works. Uh, basically, you can left click to throw a bomb, and you can right click to throw a stone. I'm going to do that before it explodes. Oh, it's actually fine. Okay, so the only time it lags to balls, which this game does, is when it impacts any of this terrain that I have laid down. Like that. What is that? <laughs> I have an issue with this. Well, for one, the lag. The performance is unacceptable. And for another, the physics don't react any differently. No matter how... God damn, this is so slow. Yeah, the physics react no differently regardless of what material the bomb or the stone hit. They just... Stop falling so be stable. There we go. So yeah, I could hit that bit of wood there and it would have exactly the same effect as if I hit that brick. In fact, I will demonstrate. So I've hit that brick and that will stable off soon enough because it's not very big. And then where's one little bit of wood? Ah, there! Right there! So that bit of wood there. Like, it had a bit less give, but... I mean, overall, they, they, nothing reacts any differently, so you don't get like a splintering of... I know that this is done in voxels. I get that. Right, so it's not to do with the debris falling that makes it lag. I, I don't, I don't get it. I really don't. Oh, what? Why is it now running fine? Oh, no, it's not running fine anymore. <laughs> I retract my statement. <laughs> It has still not stopped lagging, so maybe it was making up for the non bits of non-lag with more lag. There! Whoa. There we go. So yeah, if I drop a bomb, it gets exponentially worse because it cannot deal with it. <laughs> if there's anything else, it's like scrolling doing, middle click. No, I mean, the, the controls are for shit anyway, so it wouldn't surprise me if the middle click did something. So um, yeah, basically... This is not worth picking up. Uh, it's free, fortunately. It has links to everything in the description if you are so inclined to play with this for some reason. Uh, you can, but I'm not going to recommend it. So I played three physics simulations today. One was a very accurate physics thing, but not particularly a game. The other was a game with not particularly accurate physics. And there's this pile of shit. <laughs> 